I am Elijah. Greetings. Yeah. Greetings, Elijah. Welcome. Today I have a very short message, and it is for those that listen carefully. But take heed at this time. There is great strength that needs to be held and be brave for the future, for you are the lights that will shine in the darkness. Many of you know that the energies of the earth have changed, and there are many kinds of energies here that must be dealt with. But keep your face forward, keep your courage strong, and do not be weak in these times, because people will look for you for guidance. They will look for you for an example. They will look for you for the light, because they will be confused. And some of you will be able to step forward and be that light and that guidance because it is a time when some people will awaken. And during some awakenings, there will be confusion because they are not sure what they are awakening to. Remember when you awakened, the thoughts started to come that you weren't sure of exactly what you were awakening to. Fourth dimensional energy? Was it that you were getting a new kind of understanding? Were you gaining spirituality? Perhaps all these things were true. But you must remember that some need more guidance than others. And some are confused about what kind of day and age that we live in. They look around themselves and see themselves in a place of darkness. But they would rather be in a place of light and you may be that only light for them. So remember to stay positive, be the light for them, be the strength for them, so that you may lead them forward. Not that you may uh, be controlled or controlling, but that you may uh, guide. Guidance is different than control. And if you control, back off. Because once you start to control, then you have a problem yourself and you are not completely in the light. You must understand that leadership is not control or manipulation, but it is leadership in the sense that you are guiding and letting people know that they have choices and that the choices that they are to make are this, this, or this. And you must let them have their free will because you cannot push them into anything that they do not want to do, lest you become the object of their uh, anger and unhappiness. So be aware that you are there only to guide and to lead and to shine, not to manipulate or control. Is there a question before I go? Amazing message. All glories to you, Elijah. We love you hard. Perfect message. Thank you. I think some need to hear that because they are not aware that they do this. They are not aware that, they can, that their manipulation is not correct. They are not thinking about the way that they are doing it. They are only thinking that they are doing good by showing people this way. But remember... The way that you show people is out of unconditional love and out of the understanding that they need to love one another as well. Because if you show a demanding attitude, a manipulative attitude, then you are teaching them this is how they should go about leading others. And you do not want that. You want to be the pure. You want to be that of great love. You want to be that of guidance and not of something that is not worthy of you. You are the future. Is there any questions? Does anyone have any questions? Please put your ones in the chat. I can know who's got a question. There's a question in the room. Come forward.
What is your question? Um, I had a question about um, a vision that I had this morning in regards to some symbols that I saw. Are you able to speak about that here at this time? What symbols? Uh, the symbols that I uh, saw go into the three of us. The symbols are only the beginning of the download. What the three symbols that you saw demonstrate is that three symbols have been integrated and there are others to come. But it is not for all to be knowledgeable of these things, for it is something personal. Okay, Lila had a question. Lila. I have a question uh, and I forgot. <laughs> uh, so uh, here, uh, could you give us uh, a complete, oh, here's the question, very simple because I blanked out. Uh, could you tell me how is my progress doing? Because that's an easy question. You have come from a state of manipulation at times and are now becoming more pure. Your purification is almost complete. You're feeling a great strength in, in your being. You're feeling a great confidence in all the things that you believe. You're feeling a great uh, necessity to share the, your love with the world and with those around you that have been so kind to you Krishna, Vishnu, and your dragon friend, and many others. And I am so happy for you because you are reaching a time of balance with your life. And this balance will bring healing. This balance will bring life to you that you have not felt before. Absolutely. I am newborn, like the Christian would say. Another, yes. another. Ganesh uh, is with you so closely. It is almost like you are one person at times. We are. I mean, I feel not that I am with him. I feel that he is. He is living in my heart. So I am meeting him every day in my meditation, and now soon I can bring a Ganesh to everybody who is around me. So that is a revelation in my life, and I am really blessed. What I can say. Uh, here is the second important question regarding uh, dragons and draconians. There are people who hate dragons, and we would like to uh, share light. What is the difference between dragons and draconians? And I do not want to put draconians down. No, However, uh, exactly. I love. Why Absolutely. should you make a difference between I, them? I do not make it, but I would like to. Uh, still, there are differences, and we would like to humans know that they are not act exactly the same species. So we, I don't want to put them in one pot. Could you share a light? What's the difference between dragons and dracos, what we call alpha draconians? A definition that would separate them is not necessary. What is necessary to let people know is that unconditional love includes dragons and draconians. You may not want to socialize with them. You may not want to be friends with them, but you must love them in the sense that they are part of God's world, part of God's being, and you must understand that they are not necessarily all bad. And you must understand that inclusion, if you are seen by a draconian as unfit for them, how would you feel? Perhaps you might not care, but remember, all beings must learn to love each other in one way or another. You must include one another in all of your things and pray for everyone and not just certain ones. Pray for the whole world and not just your family. So the difference between dragons and draconians is the, the same difference as there is between a person from Asia and a person from the United States. You do not want to make any differences there. They are who they are, what they are, and they do not fit into any classification other than God's children. 
perfect. The third question, I find out that we do have a dragon god. It is possible to get message for all of us from a dragon god, if you can access him? There is perceptions of dragon gods. There are perceptions of lion gods. There are perceptions of ten-armed gods. Remember, when you're thinking about God, you're thinking about a great energy that includes all things in the universe, that you are including all perceptions of what God is, and God is many names and many perceptions. So therefore, no matter what face you put on God, the heart of God should be the same in all these personas, because he is here to guide and direct love unconditionally and give guidance to his people, to show them a way, to bring them up through an ascension that makes them learn and grow closer to him. So no matter what face you put on God, his teachings should be all the same. My comment is to this, the meaning of amazing grace is exactly what you just said right now. Amazing grace. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Elijah. I don't know, does anyone else in the room have any questions? There are others that want to come through. Okay. There are other messages for today, but if there's more questions, I will take them. Okay, well, whenever you're ready, Elijah, it's always a pleasure and beautiful message. Thank you for sharing it with us. Much love to you all, and there is someone else coming. Great. 